I am just having a ball over here. This is pretty insane. <laughs> uh yeah this is my third take you guys so i've definitely come to the conclusion that i need someone to hold this thing for me because i do not want it to be messing up tomorrow uh, let me just check the height of where i'm at let me just switch it here oh my god i am not the most tech techy person so yeah, <laughs> it definitely shows today. All right. Okay. Um, let me just see this uh, area here. I'm gonna try and do the movement and height check. I think that's a pretty good height for me to show you guys the move and I actually need to put this um, phone on the side because uh, that's the only way that my little tripod can clamp the cell phone because earlier if you saw the second video it fell down as I was trying to fix stuff and yeah it was just embarrassing uh, let me try over here Call me a perfectionist. I just want to be able to provide you guys with the best. And if I can do a redo just to show a better one, why not? Let me see. Let me just check again. Okay, I think this is a lot better. I'm going to put the mic over here so it's still connected. Uh, is there anything to make this brighter? Maybe it's my settings. Oh no, not that one. Is that better? Or... I think I'll just stick with the regular. Okay. So once again, short workouts like this. <laughs> I feel like a broken record. I keep repeating this. But um, short workouts like this is great for building strength, building stamina. Now they're doing some stuff over there. So it's great for building strength building stamina and for gaining some muscle mass when I first started working out this is what I started with and I did it consistently for a month and I shit you not uh, I saw results after just a month of consistent training and what's great about it is it doesn't take a lot of time you know and uh, I talked about this earlier my aim for this is to show you guys that you can be fit even if you're super busy. Um, I've worked three jobs before and I was able to stay fit and healthy and that's why I'm here. I want to show you guys what I did so that um, you can continue taking care of you even when life is throwing so many things at you. You know, you don't have to put yourself in the back burner. And after this 10 minute workout, you're going to feel so much better. So I wanted to pop in and talk about uh, the exercises and show the moves, how it's done and variations. So we're going to start with the burpee. So for the burpee, it's a full body exercise. It works your legs, 
your core, your arm, and it's a great cardio movement. So it's a three movement exercise. First, you do a squat and you go into a plank position. And once you're in plank position, you go do a jump squat. So I will be showing you first the, the regular version and then I'll come back here and explain how to do the easy version. So for the regular version, you pretty much just do the whole movement smoothly and uh, without pauses in between. So that's the regular burpee. So if you're a beginner, you can do them slowly. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna do it slowly. And instead of doing the jumps, you can just walk it to where it's supposed to be. You'll see. So I'm gonna do it slowly and this is the beginner's version of the burpee. And if that's still too hard, you don't have to do the push-up on, you know, like a regular push-up, you can do the push-up on your knees. So I'm gonna do an even easier version. So that's the push-up burpee with the push-up on your knees. All right, and the next one is the sumo squat. So this exercise is a good uh, exercise for your whole legs. When I was doing it and I was feeling what muscles were being worked while I was doing the sumo squats, it's the entire leg. So your inner thighs, your outer thighs, even your core muscles are working. And I put this exercise right after the burpee because it's a slower movement and it will allow me to breathe somehow. <laughs> so just squat down, lift one leg up to the side, and then when you bring it down, you squat down again, and then you lift the other leg to the other side. So I'm gonna be doing it right now. This is the sumo squat. And if you can't lift your leg up that high, that's totally fine too. You can just do this. And as you progress, try and push yourself to go higher and higher. Right. And the next exercise is my dreaded one. I can't believe this one. <laughs> but it's the jump tuck. Uh, this is a really good cardio exercise. It looks really easy, but among all the list of exercises that are in this workout, this is probably the toughest one for me because my heart rate really goes up and yeah <laughs> it really works me out so i'm gonna do the regular one and then i'll come back and show you guys how to do an easier version of it so basically what you're doing is you're just jumping and lifting your leg so that it's close to your chest and I'm just the chop. All right. 
So just letting this catch for a bit. All right, people are texting me the phone. Jen, Jen, are you are you watching this right now? Okay, I just had to exit real quick so that I can uh, it catches up. Okay, so uh, we were doing the tuck, the jump tuck before before all that craziness. Um, so basically, you're just jumping up and lifting your legs so that your knees are close to your chest and if that's too hard for you 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 can do uh, high knees instead so I'll show you what high knees are so instead of jumping with two legs up in the air you're doing it one by one and if that's still too challenging, then you can do a slower version of the high knees. Make sure you tighten your core while you are doing the exercises. All right. And the next exercise is the pike walk. So after the, <laughs> after the difficult jump tuck, I put the pike walks so that once again I can breathe and you can breathe too if you're following along but this is still a great exercise for your core and your arms and it really challenges your control and a little bit of your balance so that's why I like it so basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bend down from your waist walk into a plank position and once you're in plank position, you're going to walk back to a forward fold. So I'm going to show you the pike walk now. And I'm not quite sure what the easier version of that is. Uh, if you have a hard time uh, being on plank position, then maybe once you're in plank, you can just put your knees down so that you have support from your knees. Okay, so far so good. I hope so. I hope you guys are hearing me. Okay, the next exercise will be the jump lunge. So this is a great cardio and leg strength workout, I mean exercise, and it's really um, good in developing your balance. When I first started working out, I couldn't do this exercise at all. I had to hold on to something for support so that I can jump and not fall over. So if you're going to be doing this, it's good and well, it's best if you have a support beside you maybe like uh, a table or you know the edge of the bed or a bench or something that you can hold on to that you know for sure is stable and will be able to support you if you lose your balance so the jump alternating jump lunge is basically just a lunge and then jumping into the other leg lunge <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys. And if you need support, you know, just hold on to something. Let's say I'm holding on to something here. And if you still can't do it with a support, what you can do is just do it slowly. Just lunge. Okay. 
by the way for you guys watching right now hi hi tata um thanks for supporting me uh i'm just doing this so that i can prepare the people for tomorrow's workout and show them the variations that they can do yeah and the last exercise that we'll be doing tomorrow is the single leg push-up it's basically just a regular push-up with one leg up in the air if you, that's too hard for you what you can do is do the push-up on your knees instead but I'm gonna be doing it as a regular push-up and then once I get tired <laughs> or I feel like I'm getting my muscles are just burning out then I'm I'll be doing it on my knees you'll see it tomorrow you'll see how how I get tired too <laughs> so I'm, I'll be showing you guys the single leg push-up right now and for tomorrow's workout I'll be doing it five on each leg And if that's too hard, once again, just do it on your knees. Okay, I covered everything. So tomorrow, um, I'll probably get on 15 minutes beforehand just to get settled and I'll start the workout right at 12. I won't be taking breaks to talk to you guys while I'm doing the workout. I'll pretty much just be in my zone. So you'll watch me working out for 10 minutes and if you guys want to follow along, go ahead. The workout breakdown is on the event page and if you know people who will benefit from this please share the event and see you guys tomorrow i can't wait i am nervous and excited at the same time thank you guys for the support and i can't wait to see you guys tomorrow ciao